Colonel, while your victory is to be commended, Crocodile Gandhi takes three steps for our one. The visitors are predicting a glorious victory. All thanks be to the visitors and their awesome crystals of power. He now controls most of South America and is digging in for a defensive war. Oceania has traded owners as Sheikh Omar drove Mondo Khan's forces out, and a new leader has risen in Europe. She calls herself Napoleon. As I once brought order to Europe as the first emperor, so shall I now bring order to the world. Napoleon has united Western Europe and Eastern Canada. Fortunately, Major McCormick has imposed peace on the eastern seaboard of the former United States and convinced them to unite under the FWA banner. Your next mission is Brazil. Clark out. Hello everyone and welcome back to This Means War. Welcome to the third mission. We are going to go up against Crocodile Gandhi once more, but we did mean a new leader, apparently a female reincarnation of Napoleon, but we'll get back to her later. For now, let's see what mission 3 has to offer for us. So here we go, that's the world situation. South America is pretty much split between the Free World Alliance, who now controls the Eastern Seaboard as well, and Cordial Gandhi's forces. And it doesn't really look like that Napoleon does control Western Europe. In fact, he only seems to control France. But more about that later. Hey everyone. And here we go. So it's another rather small map. In fact, I think the enemy base is either here or there. In any case, uh, it's not far away. So what we have here is a steel mill. And let's set the speed to normal. Or maybe, maybe too fast. So let's have... You produce forces which will gather probably here. Pretty light infantry, let's go. I like that they always, maybe it's just safe, but I think they always set you to the maximum here because obviously that's that's what everybody would be doing here. So let's go. I can't actually change the speed here, can I? Dump truck, can't produce anything else in this factory here. Nope, can only produce dump trucks. So I suppose these vehicles we have here are the only ones we get, but that's okay. So, um, can I build another farm here? Let's go to our engineer. Let's build another farm. And let's do that right here. We can. Which is great, because we could use another one. And then we can probably also properly develop our, our villages here and then produce more guys. So you just walk over here. Oh, we actually have a scout here, that's good to know. Uh, to be honest, I don't even know what the scout does. Well, s scout obviously, but I guess it has better has better, has better side, that's good to know. So you're working here, which is great. Anything else we can do right now? Not really. What are the hell are you doing? You should just bring stuff to the, to the mill here. Oh, these, these units are in the way, that's not good. Yeah, these guys here are essentially... They are essentially supply trucks. So, and what do we have here? Another scout, scouty guy. They bring... What are you not doing? Am I out of res- I guess I'm out of resources here because... Yeah, no minerals, so we have to wait until more stuff gets... Gets delivered here. I guess I could build another dump truck, so... Let's maybe do that. Quota, uh, I have built, built one of these. And go. Just to clean up a little bit. What are you even doing? Just mining mode, lay that dirt road. Let's, let's go with the mining mode and do something, please. Okay, anyway. There come. Oh, that's an enemy engineer. That's interesting. Don't know what you're planning here, but you know what? Let's, let's try to kill you. And let's see. Are you actually still working? I hope you are. But I think you might not be working. We'll see. So we're producing a dump truck here with no efficiency because we don't have stuff. So can you please... There we go, that's a lot better. That is a lot better. Are you stuck? I, I don't even know. Yeah, let, that was a horrible, horrible noise. So let's, let's, let's have our guys gather here. And then we are probably going to build a second barracks here as well, just so we can spam units fast enough. You know what, I don't think it's worth trying to kill that guy, so let's just retreat. Or maybe not. Well, goodbye then. Oh, now you retreat. 
after you got shot here. That's something. Oh, they're trying to build something down there. Let's check that out. Let's see what exciting things will happen there. Yeah, I'm tempted to set the speed to maximum, but the problem is that maximum it exploits. I'm not quite sure whether it exploits your entire processor. Maybe it's only the the one core or so. But in any case, it's it's really really fast. So there's there's only fast, which is still slow. I mean, this is not even the normal speed of most other RTS games. And then there is yeah, whatever. Attack mode, lock targets. Nah, no, let's let's just have you stand here and defend. It sounds safe enough. And you scout, you get down here, and you can just shoot at guys, which works pretty good, good most of the time. And we actually won that encounter. You can reinforce this position here. Yeah, as I say reinforce this position. If, if this there would would be actual strategy here. And you're still working. And yeah, maybe I should have. Should have gotten those trucks first. In any case, let's. Oh, yes, we are gathering off. Oh, damn. You, oh, look at that in animation. That looked exciting, didn't it? Yeah, let's actually have you guys retreat a little bit. I want these guys here too. Oh, oh, take a look at that. A universal sibling hood. Engineer. I don't know what you are planning there, but I'm going to kill you. So, what's your efficiency here? 100%. That's great. We're quickly using up all the minerals here. And I think we already produced... Yeah, we did produce another dump truck. And I think in this case... Do we want a fourth one? I'm not quite sure that's actually worth it because... I think only one, one of these guys here can actually collect resources at any given time. And... Hmm, is there actually... I don't think there's a limited amount of resources in here or is there? Yeah, oh actually it's probably the, the big bar. Yeah, that, that sounds kind of obvious, doesn't it? Now that I think about it. Anyway, let's maybe build... How expensive is this truck anyway? You know what, I don't even know. Let's build, yeah, let's build one more. I don't think it's too expensive. And... Okay. There we go, we've got another farm and immediately we've got some nice, nice houses here. In that case, you can now build another barracks. I also like that you have submenus in cases where you only have one option in the submenu anyway, which raises the question why do, have, why do we have that submenu in the first place? And the answer is I don't know. I guess it's just terrible design. Occasionally you get a, another option later, then it's justified. But most of the time it's not. And ooh, didn't we kill a whole lot of guys? Yeah, this is this whole intelligence stuff here it doesn't seem to do much maybe it's maybe it's good if you know how to use it i don't really know how to use it so let's not bother with it oh some of, some of our guys got shot you know what let's just get into attack mode here or oh, maybe actually actually target that or maybe get into general attack mode just so we can clear out these guys here too but they seem to be running away anyway i don't know where you are going I'm pretty sure you are going around here because that, that road was initially blocked, but never mind that. And you can now gather here. Just let's, let's let, let you move up a little bit more. And there we go. Yeah, by the way, I'm not quite sure why we are the faction that's like morally superior to everybody else, but apparently we are. I mean, most of the other people seem to be psychopaths, but uh, are we really that much better? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure this is not the game we are supposed to question. Like more issues of warfare and stuff. But it's a fun game because there's walkie characters. Even though they're, to be honest, they're not that walkie. At least not walkie enough to be amusing. This is not Command Conquer Red Alert 2. Also, you please attack that. I guess I can blow that up. It's not really necessary because... I'm not quite sure why you guys aren't shooting. I'm pretty sure those guys aren't ranged. But they aren't shooting at me either, so... Probably shouldn't complain about that. And you guys are going into a completely different direction. I think you cannot go over rivers, that's probably the issue here. So I guess later when we actually do have tanks and stuff, we might be forced to to build some bridges. Not quite sure whether I want to do that, but we'll, we'll see about that. So for now, let's just go into attack mode again. And you know what, you can actually do the same. There we go. And once that other barrack is ready, we might just speed up this game here and completely outproduce them. But we'll we'll see. 
see about that. One good thing here is that you can freely adjust windows in in 103.1 and as a result you can actually play this in widescreen. You can even play it in pretty much any resolution, you can just blow it up. Obviously if, you're, if your screen is too large for this then you're not going to get anything out of this because you're just going to see the entire map and then the rest is just, uh, just a gray area so it doesn't quite work that way. Do you have enough resources? Um, oh yeah, I think you do. So we've got a bunch of minerals here. And I'm just tempted to just speed up the game. Let's actually give that a shot. As you can see, we're, this is a little bit faster. But we're gathering guys here nicely and we're producing them faster than they can do so. So let's just do that. Yeah, don't do that if you're not... If you're not sure about, but you having the upper hand, because otherwise this just can this can kill you the within visitors seconds. Visitors test us with your victory, but the world will be converted and all will see the light. Oh yeah, well you're probably going to see the end for Gun Barrel. Also like the error message, message sound when when you when you get this message here. But yeah, of course we are going to accept the surrender. So here we go. That was Operation Blue Topaz. And civilian kill ratio one, once again 100%, which I assume is good. Anyway, thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye. Or oh, next time it's not a base building mission, which is actually not great, but we'll see about that.